I don't know if he's missing anything, but yo, shout out Saba, man. Saba's project in 2018, Care For Me, was one of the oh, best no. albums Fantastic. Um, of Fantastic. that year. Amazing. 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 Like it was very thought provoking, but people nowadays kind of want to bop and dance and blah, blah, blah. He's on the cusp. Saba's issue, in my opinion, is that he'll do something really good, but then he fell off the face of the earth. You're not Kendrick yet, bro. You got I think so. I think so. All right, man. So uh, first topic on the episode is uh, one that, you know, we kind of been talking about internally, but uh, I think it's time to really dive into that. You know, which artists would you say are on the cusp and you could argue are kind of missing something like for whatever reason, this artist has not bubbled up to what you think they should or whether you think they should be. And so with that being said, I would hope there's some names that come to mind. I'm going to alley-oop into OT to start just because yeah. you and, you know, you you right next to me on the screen. So go do your thing. Yeah, that's you what I saw your list. Um, definitely, you know, being that we are a Chicago-based pod, uh, I definitely do. I don't. Mick J Mick Jenkins was on there, correct? I think you saw. I think he was on there. Um, but if I'm gonna think of a name off the top that I really think is on the cusp, I don't know if he's missing anything. But yo, shout out Saba, man. Saba's project in 2018, Care for Me, was one of the oh, best no. albums Fantastic. Um, of Fantastic. that year. Amazing. Amazing. And, and I'm thinking. Now. I'm really waiting to see what Saba can do on his next project, because I do think he's one of those artists that, you know, he can be up there with these other guys from the standpoint of just his creativity, his ability to rap, you know, uh, the musicality and whatnot. It was a lot of different waves and whatnot on that last joint. And I was I was really rocking with it. Other than that, I do like the, the homie IDK, man. Me and Kamal was talking about that last album that he dropped. Um, I think that his problem or well, not problem, but what he does his last album was solely about like religion and god and, and whatnot right you talking about the um is he real yeah real. yeah yeah that may be that. that was so dope and it was so thought-provoking but i think something like that just may be too much from the standpoint of like uh if he's gonna take something like that to the next level right like it was very thought-provoking but people nowadays kind of want to bop and dance and blah 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 but you know that's that's so i agree with idk but to add to the conversation saba man saba is yeah, there you Saba go. Saba's a good one. Man. I think that's a that's, that's a fantastic a one. one. Cause that's I, I thought Saba, one. I thought Saba was ready to take off after that album. I mean, cause Bruh. you know, it kind of, it kind of feels like Saba. He raps like somebody that knows he's tight. So he doesn't give you his whole bag. He kind of just is like, yo, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw out some of this. I'm gonna throw out some of this. But you know, I think that, you know, maybe he needs one of those albums where he just goes in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Sort of like how Vic Mensa been trying to do lately. Even he's another artist that I think is just missing something. But like how Vic Mensa Man. just goes in as of late. Yeah, um, uh, Vic Mensa, that's another. That's another name. We got. There's a lot of names we throwing around, man. I think all of these people, are, uh, they're very talented. But yeah, go ahead, go ahead, come on. You sound like you got to. Well, have um, see, I'm 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 funny because I feel like I'm a I'm a music rap elitist. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just not. Is I'm I'm bourgeois with my music with my music man because if it's not good, then I'm not checking for it. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody like a Vic Mensa, you know what I'm saying? I'm done with Vic. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. Like, you know, I thought that um, Internet Tape was his best project. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion, um, Internet Tape was really good. It had Orange Soda on there. It had like some hits. He he had hits on there. Um. But I feel like he's in his own way. You know what I'm saying? He he sometimes his his debut album, he was rapping, but musically it wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? The beats, the music mm. wasn't compelling. It wasn't, you mm. know, and I hate to do that to artists because I know that that he put work into it. But for my taste, right. it wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? I do want to see somebody like uh, uh idk um get there you know i do want somebody like a saba to get saba's a good one saba's a really really good one because he can rap he reminds me of like a chicago kendrick mm. like kendrick is a good rapper 
but yeah, he's more than a rapper. He his his landscape of music that he makes is interesting. Yeah. He has ebbs and flows. It's not just like he just rapping. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's got it's got layers to it. It's inter his his albums are interesting to listen to. IDK's album was interesting to listen to. It's, I'm I'm listening to it like a couple weeks ago. I'm like, yo, I forgot DMX is on here. He just had Tyler on here just talking. You know what I'm mm. saying? <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, Pusha mm -hmm. T pops up. It's like, yo, I forgot Push was on here. You know what I'm saying? And it's, yeah. he's he's getting respect from MCs in the game. You know what I'm saying? But there were moments where it was way too heavy. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, the last track is about how his yeah. stepfather gave his mother AIDS and she died from it. You know what I'm saying? That's really mm. heavy. And that's his truth. That's his truth. Yeah. But that's really heavy. And there's moments like that, you know what I'm saying, throughout the album. But musically, it's good. It's good. And I would love for him, like, so I just saw today that he had the project dropping. And one of the songs has MF Doom, J Electronica, and uh, that's crazy as hell. Yes, oh, MF Doom, J yeah, Electronica, that's nuts. and somebody else on it. I'm like, yo, okay. Uh, the song's called Red. You can text a number to hear the song first, or you know what I'm saying? Really, but, um, mm -hmm. but right. um, you know, stuff like that's. That he's thinking about music. Give me an artist like that that's thinking about music. He's on the cusp. Saba's issue, in my opinion, is that he'll do something really good, but then he fell off the face of the earth. Yeah, he's one of those right. artists for sure. He'll do his thing and then he'll yeah, just be I in agree. the back. You're not Kendrick yet, bro. You gotta stay out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> bro, Kendrick. I would I would I would argue Kendrick, man, literally. I'm, Kendrick is doing some shit that like shouldn't even be done. Like, you, why are you falling off the face of the earth for four years? There's artists like, that can do that. There's artists yeah, that can. There that. is artists. I mean, yeah, there's. I, I mean, but why? I mean, there's art, What's the well, reason? Let me, I'm gonna throw out some more names like that. Because yeah, I got some names. To, I, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna throw out some good ones so far. That's similar to Saba. Um, and we talk about Kendrick. Think about even in that label, TDE, Schoolboy Q, somebody that disappeared mm. a lot. But I think he's on. Schoolboy Q is good. But what about your other boy, Absol? Absol yeah. just kind of cruise controls through, like, you know, his career. And yeah. similar to Saba, I don't think he's made that mark yet, yeah. personally. Yeah. But, like, he kind of has that swagger of, like, a, a all-time great rapper to me. And and when he comes back every single time, I think people put respect on his name. That last album was nasty, yeah. His last like, album was fantastic. That was five years ago, so it's like, what's going on? Bro? Five years ago, yo, exactly. Yo, honestly, you know, honestly if we talk, if we talking about talent, if we talking about like bar for bar, I, yo, nobody is like I. I really think he's in a he's in a top tier. Like, he's elite. Category. Absol, like, he's I'm talking, elite. Absol is top tier. Oh, he's yeah. in terms of ability. I heard him on a Russ. Uh, you know, I don't saying? know if y'all heard that song with Russ. It was Russ Ab of and Absol. And yeah. the bars they was going back and forth. I was like, "Yo, Absol's punchlines is hitting like over my head, like like they're over like, your head." He's, he's yeah. going over my head. Yeah. It took me. I'm like, <laughs> I had to hit rewind. You Put it like this: that that's one of Lupe's favorites. Lupe said he's his favorite. So if, if Lupe, the all time oh. over the head Ooh. bar king, yeah, <laughs> I want to tell you. I want to tell you. Bro, story, I didn't even. Bro. I didn't even know that was one of his favorites. But damn, before right. before be, before I give you some names real quick, I want to tell you a story about Lupe. Do your thing. Um, Lupe is one of my favorite rappers of all time. The first time I heard Dumb It Down, I was like, yo, why didn't he dumb it down? Like, the song is about dumbing it down. And he's over here. Uh, what, what was he saying? Um, like, uh, uh, damn, what was the lines that he was saying? But it was like some crazy ass lines. Yeah, it was. It was um, yeah, yeah, it was. On the joint. And I was just like, look, Lupe is great for that, man. But, um, you know, uh, I actually brought up this topic to Ooch because I was like, why isn't IDK blowing up yet? Because I feel like IDK has what it takes to be a superstar rapper. Me and Uche is always like, yo, he sounds like Kanye West a little bit, like his voice. But then yeah. he actually has the skills of like, let's say like a Wale type rapper. But um, then I started thinking about some other names like Cowboy, right? Mm. Cowboy kind of remind me of Lil Durk. I'm like, there's something missing about Cowboy 
but I know y'all want to talk about the lyricists. So there was two other names I thought about. <laughs> 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 wait, wait, no, no, no. Hey, throw your... Nah, dude, because I got some names that's not lyrics. Yeah. So go ahead. Right, right. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Yeah, man. The two names I was going to bring up was Mozzie and uh, Big Crit. Like, to me, Mozzie's been killing it in the West hey, Coast. Yeah, man. Mozzie's been, been doing his thing. And I'm like, what is it about Mozzie that has not gotten him to that next level? And then yeah. Big Crit. Big Crit was Big coming Crit. with the J. Coles of the world. He was coming out with the Big Shans of the world. And I always feel like those artists were just like hop stepping him, like jumping over him in popularity. Yeah. And I feel like Big Crit's career, I don't know if you can say right now he's like a, a respect, highly respected MC. I think he could have shine. I don't, do you think so? Yeah, I, mean, I, think, I, think, I think Big Crit, I think, I think Big he Crit has respect. Go ahead, go ahead, was, I, think, I think Big Crit has the respect of his peers. That's yeah, what I think. I, agree. I, think I don't think Big Crit has the respect of the public because he I hasn't agree. really put out music that has grasped, you know what I'm saying, like a, a large amount of people. So 